wow, what a couple of semi-finals there. You had Stormers versus Connacht and Munster versus Leinster, and we now know the finalists of this year's URC. Um, now, I shot upstairs to record this because I am buzzing after watching the Munster Leinster result. I'm not going to spoil anything, I will talk about each game individually, but wow, what a finish. And um, so we're going to get into it, I'm going to talk about each game, go over the scorers, talk about, I don't want to cover too much of the final because I will do a separate video previewing that, but kind of talk about what I could see coming in the final. So let's get into it. So the first match of today's semi-finals was Stormers versus Connacht in Cape Town. Um, now, going in, I'd say Stormers were pretty heavy favourites, although I did say I can see Connacht giving them trouble and putting up a good fight. And what I said kind of came true. Stormers won 43-25. I would say the score line does slightly flatter Stormers a little bit um, due to Connor missing th three of their four conversions and two late tries from Stormers. But, you know, I still think Stormers deserve to win. But let's get into it. So we'll go off with Connor first. So Connor actually had early... Um, a bit of dominance early on. They, they scored the first penalty of the game with Corte on three minutes. Then on the 12th minute, Mac Hansen scored the first try of the game. So, although it was quickly followed up by David's on the 15th minute for Stormers, which put it at um, seven points to eight to Connacht. Then on the 27th minute, now this was was this the blinder one from Libok? I think it might have been, and um, the one where he, he caught the ball from a kick in his own twenty-two, stepped about three players, then made played a perfect kick that the winger managed to regather, and then pop it back inside to him, and he had a lovely one. It was a great try from Stormers to put them in front. Stor Libok then got his second about five minutes later. And then Connacht scored right on the stroke of half time to be 24 13 to Stormers going in at half time. Um, Lidbrook also scoring a penalty in the 24th minute. So, really exciting first half. You think both teams are still in it. This is a great game so far. And then, you know, you're kind of thinking next try is really important. And the next try actually comes to, to, to Connacht. On the 58th minute with Hurley Lang Langton scoring. Um, this was the conversion that was hit. All the rest of Connacht's conversions have been missed. Um, then the game was really close after this. I couldn't exactly remember the scoreline. Well, Connacht leading. No, I think Connacht were a couple of points down. It would have been, no, it would have been 24 20 at this point. When on the 64th minute, Dvit, is it Dvit? Because I know you pronounce W's as V's in South Africa, don't you? Dvit scored on the 64th minute to kind of give South, Af South Africa <laughs> Stormers a bit of a um, lead. And then on, for the last about five or six minutes, there was three tries. Um, so Connacht scored in the 74th minute through Ralston. Then... Thernusen and Nell both scored in the 76th and 79th minutes for Stormers in two great tries. All of them were actually very well worked tries. Um, and yeah, so Stormers progress to the URC final, beating Connacht 43-25 in what I thought was a brilliant attacking display from both teams. Really good display of some of the best rugby probably played this year in the URC. It was, a, it was a proper semi-final of some of the best teams. It was a really good game of rugby. Um, so, so yeah, that was Stormers Connacht. Let me know if, how you think that game went. 
Munster versus Leinster. Now, for me, I'm still shocked at this. I had Leinster as heavy favourites. And now, recording this, this only happened about five minutes ago for me. Munster won with a 77 minute drop goal by one point. The score ended 16 15 to Munster with a 77th minute drop goal from Crawley to win the game. When I and many other people in the comment section said they can't see anyone stopping Leinster and Munster have gone and done it. Oh my goodness, it was a brilliant game. Some really, really tight rugby. Some brilliant, brilliant game. Um, so we'll go over the scores again and what I think. So right at the start, there was a long um, period of injury because I can't. As Will Connors um, got badly injured for, for Leinster. Um, so in the first minute, there was already um, a substitution made, um, but after about, a, I'd say it was a good five minutes or so break, Leinster were awarded a penalty, which Burn kicked and went over, so Leinster immediately went up to a 3-0 lead. Um, but on the 10th minute, Monster struck back through Ben Healy, um, who I'm pretty sure is starting to go through his joining Edinburgh phrase by half bleaching his hair. Seems to a very Edinburgh thing to do for some reason. <laughs> um, and then Munster took the lead on the 23rd minute through another Ben Healy penalty, um, which it sat at 6 3 to Munster for a while until just before half time, Leinster scored through Jenkins to put it 10 6 at half time. It's a really tight game, it was really tight through all of it. Um, straight back through, uh, quite near the start of the second half, um, Bern scored for Munster in the 45th minute to put Munster back in the lead, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Munster would have taken the lead. 13. Yeah, th Mon Munster took the lead. Was it 13? I'm just doing the maths here. Yeah, 13. 10, um, which again it stayed for a while until the 62nd minute when McCarthy scored, but it was unconverted, so Leinster took the lead 15 points to 13, which it stayed till the 77th minute when Crawley kicked a drop goal from Munster to win the game. Oh, it was a, a tight, tight game. You could see both teams were really desperate for it, you know. Leinster did mess up the restart from the um, drop goal with a bunch of players being caught offside and then Munster being given a scrum and just holding it tight because they actually had a proper 10 instead of Kinghorn, who I think several times in the last couple of seasons to maybe kick that and give the other team a chance. And they usually take it as well and win. But enough about Kinghorn, Edinburgh's nowhere near this level because this was, you know, two of the best teams in the league again. Another brilliant Derby semi-final. A few people were sceptical whether it would be a Derby type game. You know, they thought Munster would would be weakened from through injuries. But, you know, Leinster put out a slightly weakened side and made it a slightly more even fight. And paid the price. If, I think if Leinster would have played some of the big guns like James Lowe, and all that, and started people at Van der Fleer, they probably would have been okay. But Munster basically shocked everyone. Like, I'm rambling because I'm still in shock. But the finals, Munster versus Stormers in Cape Town, which could be a blinder of a game because Stormers have a brilliant free-flowing attack, brilliant offloading, and Munster's defence is rock solid. So it's an uns it's an unstoppable force versus an, immo an immovable object. What's going to break? One of the two is going to have to break, and which one? 
as I said, I'll cover that in a separate video. But for now, those are the two semi finals Stormers, Edge and Connor in a brilliant, brilliant game. Brilliant attacking. And Monster securing the win versus Leinster. Let me know what you thought on either of those games. I thought they were both belters and I I had a feeling they'd both be good games before they kicked off, but I never expected them to be this good. So let me know what you thought of them. Let me know if you're as shocked as I am about Leinster losing. One thing I will say, 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 is La Rochelle, watch out. I suspect Leinster may be coming into that little that game a little bit annoyed and Leinster when they get annoyed are scary very very scary but that's it let me know what you thought on those games let me know what you think coming into the final although I will do a separate video for that because we've got a couple of weeks because it's the European finals next week and then it's the URC finals the week after let me know what you think and please please subscribe if you enjoyed that you enjoy the content and enjoy what I'm saying and um, because I I've noticed a massive spike in people commenting and I read them all and I appreciate them all so thank you and keep them coming and I will see you next time